so messy. She pissed and then laid right, right. into it. I know where I'm at, lady. Jeez. Just gonna wrap her up in her little piss burrito. Come on, we're gonna wash you down. Oh my God, look at it. Oh, why did you do this? This is so not like her. Oh, it's okay, Lucky, I really, I really didn't want to use this uh, sleepy bag that much. Oh my God, dude. There's less piss that comes out of a great day and this whole thing is drenched. Thankfully I had her on this and she like wasn't on the, the seat. Are you proud of yourself? Oh my God, yeah, you can see it. She's covered in pee. All right, you're not gonna like me for this. Oh, hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to, to wash your wiener. Dog, wiener dog, not your actual wiener. Hopefully you learned your lesson. No more peeps in the back of my car. I love you to death, but I'd also love you more if you just didn't do that. I don't have any wiener dog soap, so we're gonna use some antibacterial soft soap. You're gonna smell like white tea and berry fusion. You ready? <laughs> Come here. She knows. She's like, I gotta get out of here. I'm screwed. A little bit of soap. There you go. There we go. Look, you're gonna be so clean after this one. You're gonna smell so good. Yeah. This is unfortunately how we're gonna start uh, today's video and the return of the Texas videos. But uh, yeah, it's good to have you guys back. We're actually at the Guggen uh, headquarters right now. We've got some pretty dope stuff I wanna show you guys. Uh, got some new products coming in and kinda wanna keep you guys in the loop as I've been out of it for, you know, a minute. Sudsy weens. All right, time to wash you down. All right, I think we're good. Let's head into the warehouse. He thinks the deer is real. What is it? She's like pointing at it. Lucky. What is it? Get it. What is it? <laughs> no way, <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh man, maybe maybe I'm missing out on, on a future potential for Lucky. Like maybe she'll be a good deer dog. Are deer dogs, is that a thing? Definitely not a thing, but I've truly never seen her like this. Anyway, welcome back to the HQ. This is it, we are here. Not much has changed from the surface, but I do think that there's some stuff that I have not seen in person yet that is here that I need to share with you guys. You've probably been seeing on the other channels. I haven't been here in like a month, so I really don't know what to expect. And then check out some products that that, that dropped just recently, like the Saucy Swimmer, which is our new swim bait, uh, part of the Guggenbaits lineup. And then, I don't know, I, I think we've got some new apparel here too. I'm just gonna kind of peep in. No one's home. Damn, I don't think anyone's here. That's weird. This is inventory, so I don't think I can touch this. I'm not allowed to touch this, but here they are. The new Saucy Swimmers. We've got a few different sizes. We've got the 3.3 inch, the 3.8, and then I believe the other one we have is, is it four and a quarter? Where are they at? I don't even see them. Oh, they're right here. These are the big, oh, the 4.8. These are the big Saucy Swimmers. These are Texas made right here. And then over here, you've got the ones for the East Coast, and then you got the Midwestern ones, which are the 3.3. These are perfect for small. These little ones, don't sleep on these guys. These things are amazing. If you guys wanna pick up some of these Saucy Swimmers, if you haven't already, be sure to check the link down below. We also have a Guggen Squad app, and you can buy these baits through the app, and it'll send you reminders like when we drop new baits or when a new video comes up. It's pretty cool, like it'll send you a little push notification. So, of course, you can also buy them at like Dick's Sporting Goods. Uh, we have a bunch of partners, retail partners too, that carry these baits. These are sick. I don't even have these yet. Isn't that ridiculous? I have some prototypes of the Saucy Swimmers, but I don't have any in actual packages. So all the guys were saying, you need to come down to the HQ and, and, and get some stocked up because I don't literally have any. How ridiculous is that? I only got the ones that we were using for the whole design process and going through the kinks, but they look good. They look delicious. I now know why they're called Saucy Swimmers because they're saucy. Lucky, come on, let's go get some swimmates. Okay, this is kind of like our apparel room, I suppose. This used to be, I think, a storage closet, but now I've turned it into an area where we keep apparel. Check her out though. A lot of this is new. A lot of this is some designs we're improving. Uh, of course, since One Rod's back in the crew, he's got his own apparel line now. That is actually really slick. I love that yellow on blue. That looks so freaking good. This is cool too. From Texas, this is like our location sweatshirt. That's very dope. The camo with the antlers and the arrow goes. That's like a, that's a Rob Turkla sweatshirt right there. I love that. That's dank. Then we got flare in the reeds. <laughs> this is cool. Then there's a rig one down there when we ran the uh, rig series. Yeah, some good stuff. Again, Saucy Swimmers, apparel, all linked down below. You can also get apparel on the app as well. The app's super, obviously, simple to, to download. Just, again, click there. It'll take you right to the store, and you can download the app and uh, check out and see what we're up to. It's not just products. Of course, there's a lot of products on there, but we also put content on there as well. Man, that's so sick. I feel like I've been missing out these past few months. I'm so sad. 
Oh wow, and uh, yeah, it looks like there's yeah, bit of bit of rain here in Texas. We may have a, a slight leak. Maybe more than a slight leak, maybe a big leak, I don't know. Dude, that is so cool. This right here is another product that I was messing around with in the, in the prototype stage. We actually fooled around with a few of these frogs that didn't even have paint on them. And it kind of narrowed down as to what hooks and how much, how much give we wanted with that. Dude, that is so nice. First time ever holding the, the Guggen Squad Eat Me Frog. Such a dirty looking bait. So I got to pick up some of these too. We've got a lot of new stuff. New apparel, new swim baits, new Guggen Squad lures as well. I'm just trying to figure out where, someone said that it's in the office and I have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. There's like a pile of baits for you, John, and it's somewhere around here and you can have them all. I think the box that says John B might be it. I don't know. Dude, holy smokes. This is like Christmas. I got two boxes. Okay, so I'm guessing there's obviously Google Squad hard baits in here. What else do we have? Oh, we got the top waters too, the bloop. The blooper, and then what else? The hound? Where's the hound at? Oh my God, dude, so many bloopers. Look at this, this is insanity. We dropped a lot of new products this month, in case you can't tell, this month and the end of last month. Swimmers, the blooper, hound, what else do we do? We, we haven't dropped the frogs yet. Frogs aren't available yet, but that's what they look like. That's the finished product. I don't even know if I was allowed to show you guys that. I think I was, hopefully I, I was able to show you guys that. But anyway, regardless, we're gonna put it in the video, we're gonna keep it in there. Then we've got, oh, 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 check this out. I'm definitely not supposed to show you guys this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, no way. I am for sure gonna get an email from Ross over at MTB or Eli saying, why did you do that? But I don't care. Check it out. Guggen Squad Jerkbait's coming in hot. I don't know if this is the final product, but it looks like it's definitely getting there. Holy nut. There's so many of them in here too. Anyway, you guys should be very excited. The products we have coming are like next level, top notch stuff. It's been fun to create stuff that is not only good, but like really amazing. And then to design it so you can cater to the people that like obviously watch our videos, like you guys watching right now. And we made this stuff not only for ourselves, but we made it so that you guys could enjoy it and catch fish on it. I'm gonna make a quick call. Oh, so you call me back. Hey man, what are you doing? Well, I'm at I'm at the HQ right now. I'm actually in Texas. Are you sitting oh. down? Is that a big surprise to you? <laughs> By the way, guys, I'm on the phone with Matt right now, our manager. He's more than a manager. He's basically like a, a stepfather, uh, essentially, like a, a nanny. I think a nanny is a good way to put it. Uh, anyway, I just came to, I called you because I came to the warehouse and I noticed that there were some some jerk baits and they had a GS on the eye. And I'm thinking those are our jerk baits. And I was wondering if I could have all of those or most of them. Uh, are they in the packaging or are they just in No, they're just the loose. Part? Yeah, yeah, you can take them. Sick. Those are samples. Sick. I'm going to sample the hell out of them. Anyway, I'll, I'll talk to you later. It was great chatting with you. I love hearing your voice. Yeah, I love hearing your voice too. I'll, <laughs> I'll see you soon. All right, see you, bud. All right, bye. King Daddy Ranch said it's okay, so we're going to go with some jerk baits. I am so stoked right now. I didn't think he was going to say yes. Wow, okay, so there's a lot more baits in here than I thought. Like, I, I guess like three bags goes a long way. Anyway, I just want to kind of show you guys the perspective of how many baits are actually here and what we have that's new. Obviously, I've kind of been going uh, back and forth showing you guys what's new and what's not. But um, yeah, so here I'm going to do a quick lineup real quick of, of what came out this month. And these are these are the main two ones. You got the blooper and then the hound. The blooper is obviously like a, it's like a popper style bait. And then the hound is a walk the dog style bait. Hence the name, hound. And we got a few different good colors in that one. Um, yeah, I just want to kind of, like, this is insane. Like, there's colors in here. I didn't even, like, like, that is un freaking real. And then, of course, we've got the recons and the stuff that you guys have already seen before and probably have been using, but a lot of new stuff coming out as well. I, I guess I don't know why I just dumped all my lures out, but I just, I was very curious. Like, I'm a, I'm a kid at a candy store when I get lures. I just remember, like, whoa, like, look at all this. This is a lot. And then, just like a kid at a candy store, I have to clean up my mess. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm just excited. I'm really pumped to not only have these lures and, and show you guys that they're new, but I'm really excited to fish them. That's, that's where the fun actually happens. Luggy, what is she doing? Is she peeing on that, too? No. Luggy, stop peeing. Get him. And there she goes. <laughs> All right, I'm going to clean this up. You going to play some football tonight, or what's the deal? Oh, but maybe Peric's trying out. I don't know why there's pads in the back of... Anyway, we're out of here. We got our goods. Got the swim baits. Got the blooper. Got the hound. Got to check out some new baits, which you guys will see very soon. Dropping, like the jerk bait, and then the frog, the filthy frog. But um, 
little pee pee pup and I are gonna head on out of here. Go find something to do. It's kind of rainy, but we still might fish. I don't wanna promise anything, but I gotta get active. I'm so antsy. I, I come to Texas and I think the weather's gonna be nice and it's rain, it's 48 degrees. Whatever, we'll figure it out. Well, seeing as we have all of these baits, it figured it'd be kind of a sin to just like not fish with them. It's less than ideal conditions. This is not what I expected when I came back uh, from the whole New England set. I thought Texas was gonna be nice and sunny and 60 degrees, but no, it's 48, it's raining, but that's not gonna stop us. I got two rods, I grabbed two rods out of my boat before I dropped it off. And uh, one's gonna be for top water, the other one's gonna be for a crank o bait, or maybe that jerk bait that I hinted at you guys earlier. We're at a spot that I fish a, a good amount and yeah, I don't even know what I'm talking. Let's just tie up and go get him. Here we are, the pond skis. I like this pond. I've caught some pretty good fish out of this pond before. Oh, dude, look how much clearer this water is. We were near Denton where the uh, where the warehouse is, the Guggen HQ, and I was looking at some ponds and they were filthy, but this water's good. It's like probably about a foot, two foot viz. It's plenty clear enough, so we are going to fish it. Like I said, I only got two rods today but two is enough. Honestly, one is enough. Just ask Mike. One rod, one rod, one reel. Just want to see some big come up and just eat that. Has he? Oh yeah, a little, little largey. They're chomping over here, man. There's some kids across the way that are fishing right now and I've watched them pull up two fish. D -d Despite the fact that it's, it's, it's cold and my fingers actually are a little bit stiff right now, the bass don't seem to mind. Probably because the water's warm for whatever reason. I don't get it. I don't know why there's, like you guys see this, like there's steam rolling off of a pond. We've passed so many other ponds this afternoon and nothing has looked like this. I wish, I wish you could feel the water temp because it is spicy. And that's why you boys throw in the blooper. There we go. Let's see what happens here. We need a big daddy. Big old four pounder comes off and just crushes this thing. Oh man, that was so sick. <laughs> Wait, is it a bass? What is it? A little large mouth. <laughs> that was epic. I don't know what's going on with this little pond, but I've fished here before. And right now, even like midday, there's still steam just rolling off uh, of this little body of water, which means it's warm. The water's warm, it's really cold. The air temp's cold and it's conflicting with that uh, cold air temp. But I put my hand in the water, it's gotta get 60 degrees. So I figured it'd be a perfect opportunity to throw the blooper. This isn't exactly what I had in mind, but it's a fish and it counts. And it may be the same size as my, <laughs> as my top water, but it's a fish. Look at that, that's crazy, man. If you can't tell me bass aren't aggressive, I don't really know what you're thinking because uh, that guy just ate a lure that could be his brother. First one, the blooper. Love it. Fall fishing at its finest. I love how I'm back in Texas and I'm catching smaller fish than mass. Like, what the f*** is going on? It's colder, the fish are smaller. I'm confused. I think I took a wrong turn and somehow ended up in Illinois. Whatever. It's a, fir it's a first. We did it. Nice job. someone home come on there we go that was sweet as soon as it hit the water i got i got bit <laughs> yes all right nice so we've got one on the blooper and if i can get this one that'll make two okay one on the blooper and one of the banger baits of b-day uh again what the hell texas what the what, what is this I thought, we, I thought we had this agreement. I was gonna finish up my New England tour and I was gonna come down here. I was gonna catch nothing but eight pounders, but this is not what I had in mind. Just keep, just get a, you have to get it up close on this because it's too small. Here you go. Like just... <laughs> when you hold it like that, it looks like a stud. Yeah, it looks like... like oh my God. Yeah, look at the gut on that thing. That's all five, five, six, man. Hey, beggars can't be choosers. This is my first day fishing in Texas and I'm getting bit. I'm happy. I know I'm making fun of this fish, but I actually love you. Don't let anyone tell you you're different. You're beautiful. Okay, but leave me alone. I, I want to catch a bigger one. That was pretty cool. I, like, it hit the water, I gave one crank, and I was on. Sick. I'm pumped. Banger bass. Okay, so somehow I ended up in the middle of the woods. We just fished that little, little, little spot, that little juice nugget, full of those big bass and monsters. And now I'm in the woods looking for this spot that I fished like two years ago. I can't remember how to get there, but I think I'm close.
Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Ow, it's like in my ass. Can you hold her for a second? <laughs> Hang on, let me put her down and then I'll help you out. Ah. Okay, all right, there you go. I don't know what these are called, but they just destroyed my ass. They're about to destroy your ass. So I don't remember this spot being that hard to get to. You guys ever have that happen? Like you, whether it be a fishing spot or anywhere, like you go there once and you're like, oh, that was easy. You had a good day. And then, then you come back and you're like, how the hell did I even make it back here? Like this doesn't even make any sense. So I've returned to the spot that I've caught fish at before. And there are so many thorns. Like that was bad. I was actually more worried about Lucky just, you know, because she doesn't like, she's not wearing boots or like a jacket. Uh, now I'm worried about Alex because he's about to face a death sentence there. Do you see that? Like you can't even slide down. No. That is all thorns. It's... Like that that is like some straight booty penetration right there. Like that is uh... not good. Lucky made it out unscathed. Don't worry, she's fine. I may have landed a few thorns in my cheeks, but at least we're at the spot. This is a cooler area. There's some water running out of here and usually there's some fish happening. So we're gonna give it a go. I was wrong. It wasn't as good as I thought it would be. So funny, two years ago, I fished the same spot, same time of year. It was after a big rain, just like today, and it was teeming full of fish. They were busting, and I was catching them. And anyway, uh, that's an old video. If you guys want to see that video, just reel back like two years of my channel. But they aren't biting here. They didn't want the blooper. They didn't want the banger. I don't know what to tell you. I just I tried. We're gonna try one last spot and see if we can catch a fish. I just want to catch a fish over 12 inches today. That'd be kind of cool, you know. If if I could do that, so we're, we're out of here. This isn't happening. You guys remember that, uh, that jerk bait that I showed you earlier? Yeah, well, I put it in my boot because I didn't want to load up my pockets, and the package got loose, and now I've got a loose jerk bait in my boot. And it's in my leg, like the hook is in my leg. And uh, yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. It's like funny, but it also really sucks. Today is not necessarily the best day for fishing. Like we got a bunch of really great tackle and we released some sick baits to you guys, but the fishing part of the day, oh, it's not going so good. Ow, okay. There it is. I found the jerk bait. Hey guys, just, just in case you're wondering, this is the uh, new new Guggen, Guggen Squad jerk bait. Uh, I would highly recommend not putting it in your boot if you do plan on going fishing. Maybe maybe like a tackle box. That, that would seem pretty, pretty smart. And there's the jerk bait in my boot. When I say we put good hooks on these, I mean they're really good. Don't worry, man. These aren't brand new dry fits or anything. I was like walking in the creek and I'm like, you know, that kind of feels a little bit sharp on my foot. Reach down there, just feel the whole entire exposed jerkbait rolling around in my boot. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. There's one. I just broke off. Damn. Probably a pretty good one too. Well, I think that about does it. I'm gonna go stick my face in a hot bowl of Campbell's soup. Well guys, thanks so much for watching the uh, Texas videos. I'm now gonna head back up north to fish Massachusetts. This has been a lot of fun. I'm just kidding. All jokes aside, I, yeah, I, I gotta work on my Texas skills again. It's been a while. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is just me getting back on the swing of things. I gotta lube up my skills a little bit, get a little greased up, oiled up, ready for uh, a very, hopefully, productive fall fishing season. But I'm peacing out, signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, and check out Guggen Squad Baits and Guggen Baits, all linked down below. We've got some really, really dope stuff coming. Not just what you saw today, but as you saw, I hinted at some really cool stuff, including the frog, the jerk bait, and much more. But yeah, link down below. Check them out if you haven't already done so. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, folks, Keep fishing, never stop.